Have you ever been approached by these three men? They come and they address you and then they offer Bitcoin and they set up a wallet and they send it to you. What do you do now? So, you've just downloaded Wallet Satoshi um, and that's a, an app made by a guy in Brisbane, Australia. Um, when you come to open it, uh, there is zero sats in there, obviously, which is the uh, micro microscopic um, amount of Bitcoin. Um, you got send and received on the bottom, and up on the top, you have a red exclamation mark. Um, likely, you would have um, someone would have uh, told you to hit receive, and you come up to the very top. As you can see up the top, it basically says um, lightning. Bitcoin or or at Lightning address. Now, it's defaulted obviously to Lightning, which means it's got this particular address. They probably would have scanned that address, or as you can see down the bottom, there's an um, an LBC one um, address down the bottom, and you can copy and paste that into another particular wallet. So I'm going to uh, let's go let's go add a custom amount, and what you can do is you can either type in one dollar or there's a double arrow on the right hand side of the values where if you tap that it swaps it swaps it with the sats so it'll put the dollar symbol down the bottom so for this in particular instance what we'll try to do um, I will bring it back to that and I will put one dollar in there and so that's asked for 3181 sats I'll hit done now because I'm doing this all on one phone I'm going to uh, I'm not going to scan the actual address. I'm going to tap the copy, uh, tap the address. So copy address, lightning. Okay, done. And I'm going to swap over to my moon wallet. I'm going to edit out the pin. Now, as you can see um, in this moon wallet, I've already got some sats um, ready to go. So we'll hit uh, send. Now, as you can see here, it says uh, use invoicing clipboard. We're going to use this one, so done. Loading payment address, so um, 3,181 sats, we'll go send. And so that is now happy that it is sent. We will flip back to this one. So as you can see, we're mm. still in that original um, setting and now it says that a payment has received uh, so let's have a bit of a look there we go okay so the 3181 sats has arrived and now we've got to back it up because this is basically stored on this on this particular wallet but it's you could lose it if you basically just download um if, if you uninstall the app or if you drop your phone into the toilet or, you know, out of your car or something like that, you will, you will lose this, these sats. So what you have to do then is you have to go up to here and you have to, as you can see here, this, this brings up the menu and down the bottom it says uh, log in to back up. So it's in bright red. It wants you to do it. Okay, so what we'll do, go log in to back thing up. Log in. If you lose your phone or delete this app, you may lose your Bitcoin balance. To guarantee your Bitcoin or to use your account on multiple devices, please log in. So this is where you enter your address. Now, you don't have to enter your primary address. You could create an address, keep, keep the um, password saved, and that way you've always got it ready to go. So I'm going to type mine in. Okay, so... It says, we sent you two random login words to your email address. Enter them here. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to go off and get that uh, those two words and come back and finish this. So I just got back from checking my email. So I'm going to enter my two words. Login. Okay. Success. So it's now signed in. Now, just so anyone knows, um, this is custodial. It's basically um, the Bitcoin that's held in this is actually held somewhat by uh, Wallet Satoshi, but that email allows you to be able to dig it back in. So if you ever 
want to upload this back on another phone, you just simply need to go in to re uh, recover. Um, and once you recover, you enter e your email. It'll probably do the same thing again. It'll ask you for two different words. You enter them again, and then it'll be secure. Now, to finish up, um, if anyone wants to um, send this out for any particular reason, you just basically go to send. I'll go, um, uh, well, I'll use this app, sure. So I don't actually have a QR code at this point in time, but if you had a QR code, you could basically scan it with this target in the center. Um, if anyone ever um, texts you a particular QR code, you can basically import it with this uh, image at the top here. Or if you've got the LBTC, a whole bunch of uh, letters and numbers, you can basically paste clip it in this one here. Or if someone actually sends you like an email handle or something like that, which is actually embedded with uh, like a Bitcoin wallet, you can basically um, click on the at symbol. So in my alternate wallet, I'm going to um, click on receive. I'm going to ask for a lightning address. I'll copy that address. And I'll go back into this and I'll go send. Uh, now it says post, place clips. So what we're going to do is we're going to send, we'll send 50 cents. And then we'll go done. And then we'll go pay down the bottom. And it'll send. There we go. Let's go back to that. And this should have received it. There you go. So as you can see up the top there, um, I paid out 3,181 and then I paid 1,000, uh, I, I was paid 1,590 sats. So that's all worked just fine. Just in conclusion, if you want to back up your Bitcoin to a wallet on the layer one blockchain with 12 to 24 words, Please see part two.